brazen thieves attempting to clean out this house. On the lookout, they spot the CCTV camera, but they fail to spot another one which continues to form them. On further inspection, they realize the homeowners might still be inside and they flee the scene empty-handed. It was a day homeowner Nokolide Matlingwane will never forget. She believes the same gang robbed a house in 2010. And many of her neighbors suffered the same fate. They blew the gate like it never existed. They blew the safe like it never existed and took everything that was there. They took the carpets, they took everything that they, they could be able to sell. So you are never safe. And in the past few years, residents say things have become considerably worse. Residents say criminals are ruling this area and that police intervention and additional security have done little to turn the tide. They're now threatening to take matters into their own hands. Lives are at risk and we're not prepared to put up with this nonsense anymore. If people can get away with this sort of behaviour, then we will do something on this road. Hopefully it will be legal. One of the security companies in the area says it has its hands full. Up until March, we responded to about 53 incidents. There are syndicates in the area. You can see by the way the motors are running and the guys, you know, half the time they, they do get away. The guys drive luxury vehicles, uh, they're well dressed, they well orchestrated, well planned. These guys come in and they execute it properly, you know. Police say they're meeting the community to find solutions. We stress the, the, the issue that as the police we can't, uh, we can't do it alone. We need the assistance from, um, from, the, from the community as well as um, other service organizations. And we had, um, they've also indicated that they're working um, very closely with the security um, companies in the area. For now, as the Bedford View community closes its gates, nights for them, they say, aren't any safer. Chris Alda Lewis, SABC News, Bedford View.